Hey sis, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing this Halloween makeup look and I am a gangster clown. So I'm going to show you guys how we're going to achieve this look. We're going to start off with our foundation already on. You know, it's Fenty Beauty, you know me, and a very smoky eye. You can do whatever you like with this step, but just make sure it is smoky. So what I did was take an angled brush with some black eyeshadow on it and connect my winged eyeliner to my crease and then just blended that out and that really helps give that very smoky effect that you need for this gangster look. Okay, so off the eyes onto the face makeup look, you're gonna draw the two lines from your inner corner down your nose. I messed up on this part and I can say that don't give up if you mess up, it can be fixed. This is literally step one and it's supposed to look kind of messy, so just take your time with it. All right, so literally, like I said, sometimes you just need a break. So I went back to the eyes and smoked out that bottom lash line. I wanted it really, 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 really smoky and you'll see why later. Alright guys, so I'm using the NYX Face Paint SFX, SFX <laughs> Face Paint in black to draw these lines. Honestly, I was not impressed. Um, a black eyeliner would have done a better job, which I do switch to later on. But I didn't want to go in with a black eyeliner because that's very hard to undo. And this face paint was a little bit more forgiving, but it also wasn't as <sighs> just pigmented as I needed it to be. But now I'm kind of drawing a curved line down from the middle of my eye. Once again, this does not have to be perfect. You always can correct it later. And then I'm drawing a dot at the bottom, which eventually I will go in and erase, but trial and error is literally what was going on here. <laughs> So now moving up to my eyebrows, I'm just going to draw two triangles right on top of them and fill them in and add a little dot at the top. Um, this second triangle was very bootlegged and I do fix it, but you'll see my facial expression here. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> So now for our third line, we're just going to bring that out from the corner of our eye and same thing as the other two lines, you just want to make sure it's in a shape that you're comfortable with. Um, this one was actually straighter than the other two. I don't know if I did that on purpose, but that's how it was. <laughs> So as I mentioned before, I did switch over to black eyeliner and as you can see, there's a major difference between the pigmentation. So I did draw these last two dots with black eyeliner. And as for those other two dots, I did try to erase them, but once again, this is black face paint. It wasn't really erasing, so I did the best I could, but later you'll see how I resolved this problem. And I wouldn't be a female gangster clown if I didn't have some eyelashes, so I'm applying those. Next, moving on to my nose, I wanted this to be a heart. Um, like I said, I don't draw and this was a terrible heart. So if you do want this to be a heart, definitely do better than me <laughs> because I tried. <laughs> We 
all know clowns have a classic red lip so I'm wearing Riri Woo by Rihanna and MAC and then I'm just gonna take that black face paint and draw points to extend my lips out further and I'm a visual learner so I'm pretty sure you guys can just watch and see what I'm doing better than me explaining it but that's basically all I did and then I'm going to line the rest of my lips with that black face paint <laughs> Alright, so to get rid of that very harsh line, you're going to take some black eyeshadow and just pat it on. That will give you that gradient effect that you need for this not to look absolutely crazy. Next, I'm going to take some white eyeshadow. I didn't really have a plain white eyeshadow. All of it had glitter in it, but I feel like this kind of helped. Also, I am brown skinned, so of course white is not going to show up on my skin but you just want to place that in between those lines and kind of highlight your face with this eyeshadow Alright, so time for some more face detail. Um, you're going to take a line from your nose down to that first point and then you're going to like keep on curving it out just kind of following the shape of your face. Once again, I'm not very good at explaining this so I hope you guys can see what I'm doing but it's very simple. some more paint I'm just gonna smudge out that line so it's not so perfect and also gives that kind of gradient effect take some black eyeshadow to add more of that shading so it kind of looks like it's popping off your face as opposed to sitting on your face so to conceal those dots that I had I just placed some jewels on it and I feel like this made it really girly so I was happy I did this and now just drawing my chin detail um, it's very simple draw a circle and then you're gonna fill it in with the white shadow and I placed those jewels all over my face so you'll see that in this clip and that's it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you recreate it and I'll see you in my next one bye